Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to build if-then statements in Excel. This is a very useful thing to know how to do. It's, uh, it's a fairly common use of, of Excel. And so I've got a spreadsheet uh, to save a little time and just to have something interesting to, uh, to apply this to. I've got a list. It happens to be the members of the Baseball Hall of Fame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new column and in the column I'm going to have an if statement that will uh, test uh, the items in the different column. So the first, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, I'm going to add a column and I'm going to say born before 1950. So I'm going to enter in the title of the column, before 1950. And then in the first line in this cell here, corresponding to the first entry in the, in the table, I'm going to enter in an if formula. And like every formula in Excel, uh, I'm just zooming in a little so you can see what I'm doing, you start it with an equals, and you say equals if, and then an open parenthesis. And the nice thing about newer versions of Excel is when you're entering in a formula, it prompts you for the next thing you're looking for. So the first thing it's looking for is a logical test. So our logical test is column B. So we're going to type in, uh, we're going to go over and click on cell B2. So it's the first um, entry in that column. And it, and it entered in B2 just by us clicking there. And we're going to say if B2 is less than 1950, and then we're going to type a, a comma and watch what happens to my formula, uh, my little guide here. Now it's looking for the value if true. So the value if true, and what that, which means what's going to end, be entered in that cell, is in, and I'm not going to put it in quotes because it's going to be text, uh, we're just going to say yes. And then close the quote, and then we're going to type a comma and now it's looking for the third item in the if statement, and that's going to be the value if false. And so we're going to type a quotes, and we're going to say no, and close the quotes. And then we're going to type a close parentheses to close the formula, and we're going to hit a return. And sure enough, yes, 1935 was born before 1950. Um, so let's just uh, copy that formula down. And like any formula, Excel knows that when you, 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 can, you can either copy and paste. So we can say copy and then paste it to the next line. I'm just doing a right click, paste. Um, and this one, sure enough, that, that guy was born before 1950 as well. Um, and what, what, but what you can do is you can just put your cursor at the, at the bottom right of the cell until it turns into a plus, a, a closed plus like that and just drag it down and it copies the cells down. Uh, well, it turns out there aren't too many Hall of Fame members that were born before 1950. So to make it a little more interesting, let's just quickly change this. Let's, let's try 1920. So we'll change that to 1920 and we'll change our formula to 1920 and let's just copy that down. That's a little more interesting. Okay, so we can, we can go all the way down and just scroll all the way down until we get to the, the bottom of the formula. Whoops, went a little too far there. Okay, there we go. All right, so it's, it's entered in for the, whole, for the whole list, and we'll scroll up to the top. Um, so I hope you've got the idea here, and, and just feel free to, to, to play around with it. So I hope this has been useful. I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to build an if-then statement in Excel. Thank you for watching.